All right. Happy New Year, everyone. New Year, new plan. That's why I come up with this series, How to LMMS. In this series, you will be going to learn how to use LMMS, and more and more tutorials coming out in this series. And today, we were going to talk about how to use LMMS to map music as the beginner. A lot of you guys craving on me for this tutorial, and as the promise, let's get into it. In this video, you are going to learn on how to use the LMMS this free door software. Means I will not deeply tell you guys every detail or the terms for every single of the note or button in LMMS, but straightly to the point on how to use this door software to make music. Um, hmm. Maybe I will explain a bit. Not going to take in too long time. And this video we're not going to like talk a lot about the effects and maybe mixing and mastering. Oh, one thing I need to clarify: I'm not a professional producer. I'm just an ordinary person who loves making music and willing to share whatever I know and learned in LMMS. When you open the LMMS, you will see song editor, controller rack, and FX mixer. Since we are focusing on how to use LMMS to make music, we click the song editor. When you click the song editor, there are four tracks prepared. This plugin is called Tripper Oscillator, but this is not the only one plugin you can use. If you click to the first file on your left, you will see there's a lot of the instrument plugins such as Audio File Processor, Beat Invader. Freeboy, Git Player, Kicker, and more and more. And this other plugin use it to make your own sound from scratch. Now next, click the third file. These are the samples. You will find multiple choice of one shot samples in LMMS. Even you can download the samples and put in the file too. Then, if you click the fourth file, these are the presets prepared in LMMS. Some of the presets sounds pretty awesome. You can go and explore and find your favorite presets prepared in LMMS. LMMS got one thing can't do is recording audio, but you still can upload the WAV file audio into the LMMS from sample track. This is how I usually do if I got record the audio. First, I record the audio from Outer City, export it to WAV file. And after that, upload it to the LMMS from sample track. I'm seldom using the beat editor, but it's still very useful for sometimes. You can boot samples or the sound you like, and after that, make your own beat from the beat editor. If you right click and go to the piano row, you can notate melody or the chord inside too. This is automation track. Automation track is quite confusing and explain if you are a beginner. So we will save it for coming up video. And now I will going to make the very easy beat or maybe music in MMMS from scratch. So watch and learn if you are the beginner. All right, this is the first time I'm doing this kind of the setup. Ah, uh, feels so weird for me, but let's do this. So first thing, open the LMMS and let's start the easy beat, easy music. Let's find some loops. Let's choose this. Oh, it's correct. Let's use this. Let's find a sub bass. A lot of people, you guys, really don't know that LMMS actually can just type it and search the preset or the samples that you want to use. We got the sub bass. Alright. We don't need to use the triple oscillator to make the sub bass. That's a cool thing. Just copy and paste it. That just go down. 
maybe two or tap I guess. Maybe maybe more low. Ah, that's more like it. All right, we got this. Now find my favorite preset. This is my favorite preset. Let me tell you guys. It's called the Ting T N Pad. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it, but yeah. Find a Zing at sub FS. This is my favorite. It's called the Soul Piano. And layering it again. Cool. Lastly, let's go to the beat editor. Let's make some beat. My favorite one. Did that. Did that. Go to the high hat. Yeah. Now we got it. This is how you make the music in LMMS with the very simple way. That's about it. Hopefully this tutorial will be very helpful to anyone of you who are the beginner in LMMS. If you liked today's video, help me share and subscribe my YouTube channel. Or if you got any question from this video, just comment down below and let me know. And lastly, feel free to follow my Instagram if you got the Instagram. I will going to be more active on my Instagram or maybe Twitter. So yeah. I will see you in the next video.